We had finished our trip from Goose Bay to Nain and we thoroughly enjoyed it. Now our return trip would start. And so as we spent some time visiting some places in Nain, this was the only time that we would be in Nain, not like the other communities that we would be visiting again to take on freight destined for other ports, but mainly to Goose Bay. So it was a little bit of a different time as we would make this trip in about 36 hours and time in some of the ports would only be during the wee hours of the morning. So as we arrived in Natwashish on a return trip, I had left my phone there last time and so I would take the time to retrieve that and then I would make my way back on the boat with nobody up. I decided to go back in and lie down before we headed down for breakfast sometime about 8.30. As we made our way to Hopedale, the next community that we would stay in, my mind went to thinking about all the things we had seen from Hopedale to Natwashish and then on to Nain. And some of them I have pictured here. We went down for breakfast at about 8.30 as breakfast was only served for one hour each day and then we had about a three hour wait until we would dock in Hopedale. After breakfast, we would have about a couple of hours just to wait and talk to the different people on the boat before we got to Hopedale. Once we were docked in Hopedale at about 11.30, Diane and two of her friends that she had met would do some exploring in the town. We're just getting in to Hopedale on the return trip and they're putting the ramp down to allow passengers to disembark, I guess, and to embark, I guess, really. And uh, whatever stuff they gotta load that's going south, they'll do so. They've already unloaded everything they had earlier two days ago when we were here. We got here really, it was dark, so you couldn't see a lot. But yeah, it's a beautiful day here today now as we dock, as I said earlier. But looking forward to somewhat of a smooth ride. Some people on board here, passengers. Flights are Saturday and Tuesday if you don't get back. Sitting here on the back of the boat in Hopedale. School up there on the hill. Cultural center, I would call it. Down there. And Diane and two friends, Alice and Ian, have just walked up to, I'm thinking the Red Building. That's the local hotel, beautiful spot. And they're up there, I guess, just looking at some of the different things available up there. But here, just giving you a look at this end of the community. Hopedale. Labrador, Newfoundland, and Labrador. Transportation are varied, like many places on the coast of Labrador, and Hopedale is no different.
Seems like I've seen a lot of quads and side-by-sides coming to and from the wharf to pick up people, to pick up goods. See some trucks and cars at times, but mainly it's quads or all-terrain vehicles, I guess. Probably, probably the more accurate name. Moravian Mission in the foreground here now. What a beautiful day, maybe about 16 degrees Celsius here at midday. They just left the hotel now making their way back to the boat. They're coming back on the boat. They had to get a ride down. Looks like we're getting a little bit of weather here as we move down the coast towards Postville. See a low cloud there over the island and we're in sunshine. Not beautiful still. They're going off the boat again in Postville. They're headed again. They're in Postville now and heading out to tour some of the places. Number of people waiting to get back on the boat. And I'll be waiting for my friends and my wife to get back on the boat. Not in that order, of course. Walking back this time. Last time they had to get a ride in a vehicle to get back before the boat left. So no packages in hand. Ten minutes to spare. Ten minutes to spare. trading post called Post Hill. Oh, 
And I guess that's where the name Postville came from. Post Hill. We left uh, Postville, I guess about an hour and a half ago. And we got about an hour and a half to get to McCovey. So we're supposed to be getting there at about 9 p.m. So a little bit windy here, but a beautiful landing. A little bit cool, maybe about 12 degrees. The sun is just setting. Pretty calm on the water. Tomorrow when we go around the Cape, it could be a little different according to what we experienced when we came up. Before we enter into Lake Melville and Rigolet and the final part of our journey. Estimated time of arrival tomorrow according to the captain is about 7 p.m. So maybe about 23 and a half hours from now. We had about one day, 24 hours left in our trip. And as the sun set on our last time on the boat, it was a beautiful sunset. So we were having some lunch, or I guess supper meal, and we spent some time talking with other round trippers and here you see Tom and Bobby from the United States of America just before we went to bed. We would be arriving in Mikovic late in the night and after a full day today we were somewhat tired and like many other travelers we ended up going to bed before arrival in Mikovic at 10.30 p.m. And so after we left Mikovic, we had about a 12 or 11 and a half hour trip to Rigolet, which would be the last stop before we got to our home port of Goose Bay. Very calm morning on this what we've been told is our last morning aboard the ship as we make our way back to Goose Bay. But this morning, heading to Rigolette and then we'll head into Lake Melville. As you can see, a fair bit of mist or fog on the water this morning. A little bit of wind blowing, but at 7.30 in the morning, it's just a beautiful morning. To see, but still beautiful just to be out and looking at the water, and then just having the wind in your face. The view from the stern of the ship on this Friday morning as we head towards Rigolette and our final destination of Goose Bay probably be later this evening into the maybe early morning but we'll see anyway beautiful sunrise water glistening with the sunshine just shining down on it as we look back over or up the Labrador Sea the coast of Labrador can't see much but something right there in the water not sure and we'll be going for probably our last breakfast shortly but beautiful trip beautiful last port of call before we get back to Goose Bay and bring it in the distance first port of call I guess after we left Goose Bay and now the last port of call as we head back to Goose Bay
Weather is cleared, the fog is lifted. Temperature is probably about 14 degrees Celsius. Beautiful morning, almost afternoon, I guess. Rigolette at about 11 a.m. Friday morning. Walking trail in Rigolette, one of the largest in North America, if not the largest. And I guess that's where it stops, or the culmination of it up there on the top of the hill. Looks like a beautiful scene from up there. And it starts back in the community. I think I heard someone say it's about 12 kilometers. The walk would take you. Looks like it's well maintained. Rigolette from a closer view from the water as we approach on the Comet W as we head back to Goose Bay. Full, oh, beautiful, beautiful. So thankful to have the opportunity to have done this. This stop in Rigolette would be a short one shorter than even the one when we came the first time. But we did get off the boat and just do a little bit of exploring. And here you can see a sign that lets you know who discovered Rigolette and also some of the craft shops and that, that were around, but due to the timing, they weren't open. So we spent a little bit of time in port, but we had to get ready to head back as we were on a bit of a tight schedule. So here we're getting ready to leave. We're back on the boat. And here you can see a seagull just more or less bidding us farewell, as well as some sea lions. I think they're called maybe seals and they're leaving as well. But overall, a short, but a very good time. About the last part of our trip now. Not sure if we're into Lake Millville yet. But we're about five hours out of Goose Bay. And we're headed that way now. So, Seven, twelve knots, I've been told. So, getting down the last stages of our trip. Great excursion we've had for the last, well, since Monday. So, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, five days. I would encourage anybody to do it. Continuing to make our way up Lake Melville to our destination of Goose Bay. Probably about another hour till we dock. Looks like a couple of boats coming out. Probably on their way out to bay to do some fishing or maybe Kenemish or some place like that. said before, great trip. No, you won't have that, no. Driving east, that's usually. Yeah. Very close to being in on the dock now in Coos Bay. The end of the trip.
so chances are it's an oil tanker. Well, it's been a good trip. Back home in Goose Bay. Great day, great trip.